In March of 2022, a guy posted on the Facebook Vintage Computing Group that he had a PDP-11 for sale. After a little back and forth, I found out that the machine he was selling was actually a DEC Micro PDP-1173, and he was a local. I've wanted a Micro PDP-11 pretty much since I first got into DEC equipment in the late 1980s. I had built my own 1134 at home, and it was a great big machine and was ridiculously expensive to run. But the Micro 11 was a type of equipment that really sung to me. It was small, it could fit under your desk. I mean, who wouldn't want that? We talked a bit more, agreed on a price, and the next weekend I headed out to meet him at his shop. like we're here or it looks like the right place it's, uh, it says computer store right there I've never met this fellow so we'll see uh, we'll see what he's got should be interesting Lane customer parking only. <laughs> and no place would be complete without a dumpster full of old computers. Yes, awesome. Right, let's see what we got here. Hey, Aaron, right? Hello. How's it going? Before I started filming in the shop, I did ask the owner if it was okay to take video. He said it was fine. Okay, okay fantastic. <laughs> Okay, very cool. Oh my gosh, really. This is the extent of my deck stuff, so. Well, this is, this is the deck pro stuff. Um, wow, PDP-11 reference card. That's that, awesome. That's tape drive in there, and those are the tapes sold. Right, those, right these are uh, DLT tapes. Uh, what do we got on it? We've got a... Wang. That says Wang Labs on it. Yes. This awesome. Is, this came from Wang? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. I That's right. Empty. <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> I even it's got a printer card for you. <laughs> so that's a, it's a Centronix. Okay. Yeah. So, that, so that's actually a parallel interface. Yep. I'm not sure if I'm actually ever going to use that, but that's yeah. very cool. I think that's a shunt this, for the... Um... This is a bus terminator. Yes. You put it at the end of the Cuba... Or actually, this is a unibus terminator. So this w wouldn't even work in here. Okay. That's cool, though, but they're cool anyway. These well, guys... <laughs> right. That's the RJ45 adapter. I saved anything that's a deck on it, so... So the... Um, the deck terminals used uh, kind of modified RJ45. See, they have a little notch in them right yeah. there. And those guys, uh, that's the type of cables they used uh, for their terminals. This looks like the right cable. Oh, no, it isn't. I'm not even sure what that is. Okay, cool. At least that one has a part number. <laughs> right, no kidding, huh? All right, that's awesome. Let's take a look at this guy. So this looks like a Deck Pro box. Uh, the Deck Pros were mini versions of these. And they look like deck rainbows. Oh my god, it's the software set. Oh, shit. Right, POS is um, Pro Operating System. These were for the deck Pro 350s and Pro 325s. These are cool, though. These are kind of sometimes hard to find. Um, but these are used in the RX50 floppy drives, which this doesn't have one of. That's uh, that's, that's oh, cool, though. The dual, the dual drive. Yeah, the dual drives yes, that, yes. that use the face-to-face -face versions. Probably... Yeah, that's a Pro 350. Uh, uh, you want to get rid of that? That's a loaded one, too. All right. Let's, let's... <laughs> All right, hold on a second. One one thing at a time here. Let's take a look at this guy. It is plugged in if you want to flip that switch. I'm not going to flip that switch until I do a clean out in it first. Oh, I... Yes. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, okay. Right, so that's the TK50, which probably won't unlatch unless it's powered off or powered on. And this should... <sighs> I did open this and make sure there's no... Yeah, yeah. Nests or no, this is wonderful. Anything inside of it. <laughs> Sold American. That's wonderful. I just weighed it. Uh, 72 pounds. <laughs> I'm super curious. That's great. All right. So we're loaded up here. That's my 11. 
now my PDP 1173. I mean, it's official. Check this out. Even says micro PDP 1173. Now the guy did have a bunch of other little parts and stuff. So um, <laughs> this is the wrong OS. These are actually Deck Pro boot discs, which is pretty cool. It's an LK201 keyboard because you didn't have too many of those. Some Unibus cards. This DLT tape it says Wang on it. Check this out though. Everybody needs to have their PDB-11 programming card. Nice. PT-220 programming. Pocket guide reference. PT-220. Oh, what's this? This feels empty. It is empty. Okay. All right, but we're ready to go. Let's take this home and see what we can do. And is it home with all its associates? It really is a very nice looking machine. It's not light, 72 pounds, something like that. But before I start working on this, I have to do something about that. That workbench is not ready for this project, so. <sighs> Time for some cleanup. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more, please click the like and subscribe button down below or leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you.